Hey guys, Andre here from Nightcore Singapore. Today I'm gonna show you two of the biggest problems with white lights today that are compromising your safety, especially if you ride in the city. And this is how the new BR25 solves all of that. I'll also show you exactly why when removed from the mount becomes one of the most useful lights for working and adventuring outdoors in teams, okay? Specifically in teams. Right, so just last month, my six-year-old kid nearly got hit by a fast-moving bike along a shared path. We are going down here, the bike was coming towards us from a distance, right? He had a bright light on his bike and as he got closer, he was yelling, right, move, move! Well, of course, my kid froze on the spot because all she heard was someone yelling and all she could see was a bright light coming to her. There was no sense of left or right. You know, all she, all she could see was a white wall approaching, right? Even I couldn't see the face of where the biker was on the path. So I managed to grab her out of the way just in time as he brushed past us. Once he passed, the rider turned and around and yelled at me, right? Can't you see where I'm going? <laughs> right? So as a rider, have you wondered, you know, why the pedestrians don't move? even though they can obviously see you coming. Some riders take it even further using strobe lights to get people to move out of the way. Right? It can only make things worse. You can even cause an accident by using strobe lights on a bike. Now as a pedestrian, have you been in a similar situation? Right? Why do bikes have to shine the light in your face? Right? It hurts your eyes, you have to squint, you can't see where you're stepping on the ground and then you also can't see where the bike is going. Is he going left or is he going right? So in the end, what happens? You just don't move. Right, and then that's where the biker starts to complain, can't you see where I'm going? Right, so that's exactly what happened to my kid. And this is the exact problem with bike lights and city riding. Okay, the solution is not uh, brighter lights or you know separate paths or who is in the right or wrong way. It all boils down to visibility. Right, as a rider, your lights need to help you do two things. First one is to see and be seen. All right? So if your light stops you from being seen because you're pointing it at someone's face and the pedestrian or driver or other riders can't see you, then it has failed its purpose, right? So Nightcore tried to solve this problem with the BR35, okay, this came out earlier, you know, back in 2018, right, which was an incredible success, by the way. They made this as a full-on off-road bike light trail use. You can see there's a dual beam here. You can use both beams when you're riding off-road. When you're in the city, you can just point it lower, use the bottom beam here which has a tiny roof on top to stop the light from uh, glaring out at the pedestrian's eye level. Was it perfect? No, but it was a step in the right direction. Now in 2021, they launched the BR25, right? So they took that concept all the way and put on a full reflector roof, right? Here's how it looks like. Right, see the reflector roof? You can see the LED in here, and then there's a roof up here, right? All around. This is how it looks like. Okay, it stops the beam from hitting eye level as it exits. So this avoids blinding uh, pedestrians, but avoids blinding oncoming vehicles. You can see on my hand, the beam actually cuts there. Right, so anything above the line cannot be blinded. Okay, so you can be seen properly. Okay, so here's what it looks like from a pedestrian view of the light with roof and without roof. Right, I can still see you. I can see your face, your bike, your wheels. I can see where you are heading left or right, right? There are no glares in my eyes. Even if I was a kid, I was this short, it's okay. Right, if I was an adult, stand tall, I can see you. Immediately, I'll be blinded, right? I, I, I can't see you. I don't know if you're a motorbike or a, a car or a scooter. If you're coming at me, I don't know you're going left or right. Right, this is the problem with bike lights today. This is the glare effect. Right, tactical lights are made to stun and glare, you know, to prevent action. It's not what you want, right? You want to be seen without any issues for pedestrians. Right, so pedestrians can now see your wheel, which direction you're leaning towards, left or right. As a rider, you might not have thought about how others can or cannot see you, right? So just stand in front of your bike, right? And if you use the way you set up your lights are irritating your eyes at night, then you gotta fix it. Now, it makes a world of difference to everyone's safety, especially in city riding and with kids because they're shorter, so your light will naturally gonna hit their eyes, okay? Now, the roof design also pushes the light back behind your handlebar, okay? So all the lights that hit here pushes it back, making it 100% more visible from the sides because your legs and pedals can now be seen, right? With traditional forward-pointing bike lights, if you didn't have any other indicator lights, you're basically invisible 
to any vehicles coming to you from the sides, right? And that's where most accidents happen at cross junctions, right? And intersections because riders can't be seen sideways at night, right? From a vehicle coming here, he cannot see your bike. From the sides, I can see your bike, I can see your legs, I can see the ground that you're on. Very clear difference. I cannot see the bike. If, if it was pitch black on the background, I can't see the bike. I can't see where you are. So before I show you how this light helps you see better from a rider point of view, here's how it works. Okay, it's a secure thumb screw here, so there's no flimsy rubber flaps to go around. There are different pads you can swap out to fit different handlebar sizes. There are two of each of these. So it fits all the way from, uh, let's say, 20mm all the way to 38 or 40mm. So this is a proper bike mount, right? So even if you go down the stairs, it's not going to you know, wobble or change its position. This thing is very secure and very tight. Okay, so the other part, universal flashlight holder, right? So it comes with two thumb screws this way. So if you want to remove the light, just take it out here. Down, this fits any standard flashlight, okay? Once you slide it on, it clicks to the back and then it's secure. When you want to release it, just push this lever down then slide it out. So if you have different bikes, let's say a road bike, off-road bike, you can, have, you can buy multiple of this and then just use this to slide on and off on the different bikes. Now, if you're worried about your face or chest hitting the back of the light, right, in the event of a crash, your endo, you can mount this under your handlebar as well. So if you just flip it upside down, imagine this is your handlebar upside down. Okay, you just mounted it upside down, just turn the light to face down. Right, and now you have a clean setup on your cockpit. Alright, so there's no uh, safety issue if you want to crash over your handlebars because there's nothing here to hit your chest or face. You can also mount it sideways on a tall stem of let's say folding bikes. You can just twist it this way. So imagine this is the stem and just turn the light down this way and then you're set. So, right? so you, know, you can actually mount it on any tall bar as long as it's 90 degrees facing the ground and then you're good to go. Now to turn on the light, just press and hold the front switch. There you go. Click to cycle from low, medium, high and turbo all the way at 1400 lumens. But it will remember the last brightness level every time you turn it on or off. So if I have it on low, when I turn it off and I turn it on again, it will remember what brightness level I had it at. But you can also triple click when it's on, one, two, three, to go into your flashing mode. So if your goal is to get attention going into a crowded lane, right, this is perfect. Alright, the next is beam. How does this help you see better from a rider point of view? Right, it's all about peripheral vision, right? So most bike lights will have you focus on a tight area ahead of you. So here's a very easy example. So this is the MH12S, right? Look at this uh, this area. So imagine this is your handlebar, this is your the ground below you is completely not lit. You're focused on this circle here. Now when I compare it with the BR25, look immediately under the light, I can see my feet, my pedal, the road, everything. So this helps you not only focus on the front, which does not have a tight spot, it's a very wide spill. I can also see under my bike. Okay, so the more ground you can see, the greater your confidence to go faster or slower with precision around obstacles because you can see the ground, right? Especially at lower speeds, this helps you avoid drain, holes, you know, you can work through narrow paths better because you can see directly under your pedals. Right, this also means you can use the light for trail side maintenance without removing it because you can see your entire bike here without removing the light. So here's how it looks like against the MH12S. Right, similar brightness but completely different beam pattern mounted on a bike light. Alright, here's a perfect example going through a dark stretch here. This is the Nightcore BR25. On full brightness, you see how it feels like and how it looks like. Alright. Okay, if you look down, I can see where my wheels are at. I can see my legs. I can see where my front wheel is at. That's all lit properly. This is what I was talking about earlier on confidence to go through places. Right, because you can see more on your peripheral view. Look at that. Alright, everything is lit. Okay. This is a Nightcore BR25. This is at 1,400 lumens. Alright. 
Alright, I'm gonna go through the same path now with a typical bike light, the MH12 S tactical light at a thousand lumens. Alright, look at the difference. Immediately there is less spill. Alright, as I look down, I can't see my feet anymore. I can't see where my front wheel is at. All I can see is a circular spot ahead of me. So what you get is this uh, tunnel vision effect focusing on where the light shines but you know there's no awareness of what's around you or you know to the left or to the right right you can see that i can't see where my wheel is at right from top view okay so this is how it feels like with most bike lights okay there's a lack of uh, awareness a ton of blind spots if you put it that way Okay, especially just looking down, right? I can't, I can't see what's what. Okay. Now that was all having it mounted on the bike mount, right? Now the magic really happens when you use the light, not as a bike light, but for work or adventuring outdoors in teams. So here's why. Right, the problem with normal flashlights, right? You tend to accidentally blind your teammates when moving or walking around in groups, right? So for example, if I, I have this light on, I'm shining on the floor, then if my teammate calls me then, yes? So I accidentally blind him, right? So you don't want that. So with the BR25, so if I can hold it in a, let's say, forward grip like this, right, you have full control of where the beam cuts. So for example, I'm pointing directly at you, or I'm looking directly at you, right? My light does not blind you, okay? And look at how I can cut the beam, right? So I can cut a straight line, and not blind this person on here, right? Let's say there's someone standing at the door, you can actually shine it up to his waist and stop, right? So you wouldn't blind him accidentally. So this is great for working in teams and all that, right? So if you look at the door here, I can actually cut the door into, hey, I want to show you only the left side of the door, right? Or I want to show you only the right side of the door. You know, if you have people on the left and you don't want to blind them, you can just have your light like this. Right, if you want to light up the ceiling only, you can just light it up like this. Right, you got full control of your light. So you can use this to guide attention, point to certain sections of a work site. And when people are ahead of you, right, as long as you don't bring the line to eye level, you wouldn't blind them. Right, the peripheral vision is also unmatched. There's no other flashlight that lights up the light in front of you. Right, and the ground you are standing on here. Unless you are using a lantern style light. Right, you can shine in front and still see clearly your footing for safe and guiding others. Right, this is fantastic compared with a uh, MH12. I'm only lighting what's in front. If I'm standing here, I cannot see where my feet is or where I'm stepping on. You are, where you're walking, your feet is completely illuminated. So the sheer amount of spill you have is insane, right? No other flashlight can do this. There's literally no blind spot. Look, I can see where I'm going and I can look at where I'm pointing at. Exactly in terms of, you know, outdoor uh, safety, this is, this is just incredible. So if you talk about range, this is a medium kind of uh, light, 162 meter beam distance, pretty decent, right? <laughs> you can actually cut the building in half with the you know, beam like this. Okay, then if you go long range, of course, it can't really reach, just a little bit, not as clear, right? Alright, next is angled lighting. Previously, the only way you could angle a light was with the MT21C, right? Which had the right angle feature here, to point it any way I want, right? This, is, this has a right angle mount here. Okay, now you can do the same with the BR25, right? And the coverage is even wider. All right, you can tail stand it on the floor. All right, if I want to light up just half the room, you can just turn it to wherever you want to go. All right, so if I want to light up this way, I can. All right. All right, because the light is chiseled on the sides here, you see there's a flat angle here. It doesn't roll away. All right, if I just accidentally drop it, if I slightly push it, you know, it, it will just stay there. Where certain uh, completely round lights, if you drop it in the dark, it just rolls and rolls and then it disappears. <laughs> So because of this, I can use it, you know, upright, right, sideways to just light that portion of a work area, okay, handheld it, 
you know you can light up a whole wall or work area quickly and easily so this is one of the reasons why non-riders are buying the br25 because of how useful the beam is for their work right this is the nth10 quick draw holster combine it this way i just pop it in it's actually a secure hold all right no problems here and now you have a very powerful upward facing floodlight that you can use in uh, large rooms to bounce light off the ceiling and have everything lit up okay because so i have it on let's say flashing mode and now you have a fantastic warning light or beacon light you know which you can direct when you're wearing on your vest or the back of your belt there okay and because of the roof head your entire bezel is also better protected from drops and hits all right so you don't have to worry about cracking the glass in front because now if you drop this you know the roof is going to protect your light first now when it comes to charging there is no charging port on the light all right there's no tail cap switch this will help with waterproofing because the less holes and usb ports you have on the light the less chance water is going to go in all right so instead the charging is built right into the removable battery here okay what you're going to get with the light is a 5000 milliampere 21700 battery here's the usb port all right here's how it works just plug the included usb c cable right to the top of the battery here all right once it's in you can see that charging from the scl10 battery pack here all right on the top you see it's red red means it's charging once this turns to green means it's fully charged all right it takes around four to six hours to charge a battery like this all flashlights will be using this type of batteries from now on so what you're buying is extremely future proof if you don't want to fast with charging this type of direct charging batteries you can also use any of the other 21700 batteries like this hpr version here or the older 18650 batteries here all right but make sure it's a hp version with 8a output so you can hit the 1400 lumens you slot it inside the battery magazine like this and then pop the whole thing into the light so it, it will become the same size as your 21700 batteries all right so no worries there the good thing about replaceable batteries is you can swap them out in the middle of your ride so compared to built-in batteries like the br35 which you cannot remove the battery and replace once your light dies out in the middle of the trail you're stuck with a dead light so with the br25 you can bring as many spares as you need right? especially if you're going for the very long round island rides and you want to have it on max brightness all the time Right, in terms of waterproofing if you're worried that you know you're caught in the middle of the rain on your right you don't have to worry the whole thing is waterproof down to two meters right so you can drop the whole thing in watch for bubbles right as long as no bubbles are coming out you know the whole thing is properly sealed all right you can also change brightness underwater all right so no problems there or the whole thing is ipx68 sealed down to two meters so if you always write at night or want to start doing that, this should be high on your list of things to get. All right, especially if you write in the city. Imagine having a light like this on your next ride. Right, it's going to make a world of difference once you see the ground completely lit up in front of you. Right, it's very hard to go back to a typical bike light with their tiny round spotlights because those will focus you into a tunnel vision. Right, Proper bike light should help you see and be seen properly. Right, don't just go for the brighter lights. Invest in lights designed by riders because that is going to keep you safe and give you more confidence, especially on shared paths and roads. All right, these are all in stock now at nightcalllights.com. Okay, it comes with everything you need to get the best riding experience. The light, the battery, the mount, the charging cable, everything is in. It's just 139 Singapore dollars each with bigger discounts if you buy in sets of 3 or 10 pieces. So if you have a bunch of friends who you always ride with, just get them into share as well. You can also go with 3 installments of just $46 per month. So just $46 to get you fully equipped for your next bike ride. You know, maybe even buy 2 for maximum visibility if you run in pairs like this. So as usual, this come with our bulletproof 5 year warranty and money back guarantee. So if you feel like it's not a good fit for you, you just return everything for a full refund or you can swap it for a BR35 maybe. The only other thing that you may want to get is uh, spare batteries like this, spare 21700 batteries, separate external charger like the UMS or UMS4 charger if you're planning on a really long you know, bike ride. That's it, right? safe. If you want to see more videos like this where we pick the best lights for your work, play, adventure, rides even, right? subscribe below. And I will see you on the next one. All right, MJ signing out. I'm blinding you. No, I'm blinding you. I'm blinding you. I'm blinding you. I'm blinding you.